Hi and welcome at Iris TV. Today we are reporting live again from Process World on tour in Prague. And today I have an interview partner from Oracle. Hi, Hi. it's Ashish Mohintru, and he is responsible for product marketing at Oracle for the Fusion middleware. And it's interesting uh, to have you here because I ask myself always, why on earth is Oracle working together and partnering <laughs> together with a company like Ideas Share? Uh, thanks, first of all, for having me here, Eric. Uh, we're actually very excited to be here at Process World. Uh, we believe this is a very strategic partnership with Oracle that we have with Ideas Share. Uh, Oracle has a vision of making, helping people or companies move from creating conception of strategy to execution of strategy. And in that case, it's very important that people or companies are able to encapsulate the processes, or rapidly model the processes, and then hand them over to IT for a rapid execution of those uh, processes. And in that case, we want to partner with the leading company in business process analysis and business process modeling, and who better to do that with than IdeaShare. Hey, Ashish, thanks for this compliment. Uh, and I would say, uh, since SOAR is a core element of Fusion Middleware, and Ideas Share is uh, well known in the business process uh, management and BPM modeling sector. Um, what is or how does SOA enhance the BPM approach? Uh, SOA actually is very critical to BPM, Eric, uh, because if once uh, the holy grail in business is to align IT with business or business with IT. And if you think about it, I mean, the B modeling layer is more attuned to business users. So if I'm a business analyst, I can quickly, rapidly uh, model my business processes, simulate them, optimize them, and then how do I really execute those? And how do I operationalize those business processes within the IT systems you already have? And this is where SOA becomes the key because SOA can rapidly take that same business process from IDShare and then quickly link multiple applications and have an end-to-end -end process automation within the IT infrastructure. That's why they go hand in hand between SOA and BPM. And without one or the other, you really cannot have a true business process automation within your enterprise. Okay. So this doesn't sound only like, uh, let's say, coming from business to IT approach. It really sounds like a closed loop BPM approach. So what's, from your point of view, the benefit having a closed loop BPM approach then? Uh, you're absolutely right, Eric. Uh, the, benef the biggest benefit of closed loop BPM is that any changes uh, in a process made by either business or IT are reflected in the system instantaneously. So let me elaborate on that a little bit more. What I mean okay. by that is if a business user, once they design the process, when they hand it to IT, typically by the time the implementation takes place, the process execution is a little different than what the business user originally intended it to be. And the reason was at some point both IT and business lost touch and there were inconsistencies being brought into the process. Now, how do you resolve that? A closed loop BPM, the idea is uh, you have a common metadata uh, repository and any changes that either IT makes or business makes is reflected in that repository. So the next time a business user opens up the model, he or she can quickly identify the changes that IT had made and rectify that to make sure the process is in sync and is executed exactly the way they intended it to be. And that's the power of closed loop BPM, uh, which has been missing in business process management systems in the past. Okay, so this seems to be a great link between all those tools and a good cycle. And, and what's the benefit for your customers then using Oracle BPM solution with the BPA suite and of course the SOA suite? Uh, the same uh, benefits that I identified earlier. One is uh, the close linkage between IT and business, keeping them in sync. It's because we created this additional uh, repository to keep IT and business in sync in terms of the process models and the IT execution models. Uh, the second aspect of it is we build in some intelligence into the system. So now, once they implement BPA suite but SOA suite, uh, our users can actually get real-time intelligence into the process execution layer. So they can actually look at the, identify the processes, they can optimize the processes, and remove any bottlenecks that the process might be incurring in the execution flow. All of these are enhanced capabilities that Oracle brings to the customers in conjunction with BPA suite and SOA suite. Okay, so uh, one further question I have. Uh, we have seen today um, from Ideas Share that we are announcing a lot of new products and innovations, like, for example, the Iris Governance Engine, uh, also other products like Mesh Zone and, and so on. Um, how do you envision from Oracle uh, the um, collaboration and uh, joint positioning of those tools uh, with the um, current BPA suite? Yeah. And uh, what I saw today, I was quite excited about these products, especially uh, the ARIS governance engine. 
I believe uh, that in conjunction with Oracle BPA Suite and Oracle SOA Suite will really offer complete lifecycle management capabilities uh, to our customers. It's very important that once the product is modeled and simulated and deployed, that people are able to manage it over the lifetime. And how do you bring in collaboration between multiple uh, modelers and designers of these processes is key. And what I saw in the product today uh, with this collaboration capabilities was very impressive. I see that as a potential enhancement or addition to these product sets. Also, the search capabilities was quite impressive as well. It's ability to, if you have thousands of models, how do you really search them and identify the processes you really want to edit? Uh, you can do that instantaneously with this capability as well. So really excited about that. In addition, I think a lot of our joint customers will be excited as well with that. Okay, so can you just summarize the three important points to remember when we are talking about Oracle and uh, RS BPA suite? Absolutely. The number one is uh, enhanced collaboration between business and IT. And between the combination of Oracle BPA suite and Oracle SOA suite, we take you all the way from strategy to execution. Uh, the second aspect of it is we bring you enhanced intelligence built into the process layer. So in, in, instead of uh, running processes without much intelligence, which uh, is very important for you to optimize them at a future time, uh, we actually build, uh, have your built-in real-time intelligence so you can actually identify bottlenecks and correct those processes uh, in a very short uh, span of time to get enhanced efficiencies and maximum benefits of your investments. And lastly, Oracle BPA Suite and Oracle Server Suite work in a very heterogeneous environment. So it's not just limited to Oracle applications and Oracle infrastructure. It can be actually uh, working across SAP, IBM, Microsoft. Any existing investment that you already made into your infrastructure is completely retained, and we simply enhance that further with this technology set. Great. A good summarize. Ashish, thanks to have you here. Thanks, Eric. And I hope we have a lot of fun here in Prague, and we will see us again soon. Bye. Thanks. Bye.